Alright. You're, you're giving these guys, like, you're giving them advice. I'll give you some things that work for me. <laughs> no guarantees that any of these things are going to work for you. So, I've decided to do a blog post with my husband because he has some good advice on how to survive pregnancy. So my number one thing is, nothing is as hard as her carrying your baby. And she'll remind you. And you're gonna know <laughs> every day, every waking moment. Number two is, when in doubt, put something in her mouth. That sounds so dirty. Well. <laughs> so basically just... <laughs> feed her, is what I'm saying. Not necessarily being sexual, but feed her. <laughs> And the way I look at that is if food is in her mouth, you've just bought yourself a few minutes of freedom. So then uh, number three. Number three is that she is going to find moments, or there's going to be moments, where she completely loses her mind. If you can avoid being any of those reasons why she's completely <laughs> upset, that's W. What about when you're down and out? How do you get through this? Run. If you gotta, be, if you gotta stay, take cover. I recommend. <laughs> For a multitude of reasons. You know, if you have one job, that's great. But if you get a second job, it's even better. It's the best reason to be out of the house. And what's your last one? My last one is that although that all of our clothes now are crop tops, <laughs> you know, nothing fits correctly. Always remind her how beautiful you think she is. Uh, that's another point, too, is that good luck. <laughs> you stand no chance. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so next Monday, tune back in. If you like what you saw, give me a like. Or if you have any other tips or something that you did with your husband, I know that's terrible. Maybe share underneath, but I'll see you guys next Monday.